Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. I hope everyone's having a good day, guys. So, intuition just flew out. Give me one second so I can go grab that. We have heartstring, telepathy, inner knowing. Oh my gosh. Sorry about the shaking, guys. This intuition could have to do with uh, the heart space here. Seeing that this card has a giant red heart. So maybe someone is wanting to follow their intuition or they have been ignoring it. Ooh. We have ecstasy. Chasing thrills, excitement, good times. Or good time, sorry. God, Michael Spirit, what are we waiting on today? Maybe this is you, Divine Feminines, that are um, following your intuition. If you've been getting the downloads or the intuitive hits to start having more fun. We have mistakes, misunderstood, victim, lost soul. Oh, that's so sad. Let's get one more. God, Michael Spirit, one more. What are we reading on today for the collective? Apology, forgiveness, return, sorry. I just heard sorry for the back and forth. Let's see if anything else flipped out. No. Bottom of the deck is foundation. Establish family security. Hmm. Is someone starting to see you in their future? God, Michael Spirit. Seven of Wands. Again, with this card, they could be meditating and going within. We have Hermit. I just heard the ecstasy of daydreaming. Queen of Pentacles. Gonna put these back. Empress is on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles and Empress. That's a beautiful energy, guys. We have Justice and the Ten of Wands. I'm gonna keep this together. Bottom of the deck is Death and Rebirth. The Hierophant, Four of Cups. Let me clarify this a little bit more, guys, because I'm picking up on a third-party energy. I'm sorry. I know we don't all like to read on that. Let's clarify this justice in the Ten of Wands. Seven of Cups and Strength. With the Ace of Cups popping out. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. The Star. Four of Cups again. Temperance. So a lot of healing energy. Could be emotional healing. Someone's wanting to make something right. Yeah, we did hear sorry about the back and forth. So maybe like an apology because there's been so much going on in their head. And they've allowed that to come in between your connection. They are admitting though that they have love for you. Look at this Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. They wanted to do something about it. They feel very passionate about you with the King of Wands and the Ecstasy card coming out. And we have the Empress, Queen of Pentacles. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups, High Priestess. Well, they, they definitely put you on some kind of pedestal. They, they look at you, I'm hearing as um, 
as their equal, but like very, very much admire, admire you. They admire your truth with the Ace of Swords here. And it could be um, that you speak your truth, that you're open, vulnerability, like they admire that about you. <clears throat> Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles, please. Wow, another ace, guys. Definite shifts going on. Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Wifey husband material. Because, guys, this is uh, there's no gender in tarot. This is all energy. Yeah, they feel like they made a mistake not offering you something. I just heard when they had the chance. They were confused. They weren't seeing something. Page of Cups. They could have been very immature. Very childlike. But, like, not in a good way. Let's clarify this hermit. Nine of Pentacles. They want to get you alone. They think about you a lot when they're alone. You excite them and scare them at the same time. Ace of Swords. They could want to express something to you. But make sure that you guys are alone. Like you won't get any interruptions. Because they do want to speak to you about their truth. Wow look at this. Four of Wands. 1111 Gates of Heaven. And Judgment. They've had some kind of epiphany. They could want to move in with you too as well. Um, but they do want to express that they. Wow. Wow wow wow. Lovers. So two Twin Flame cards with the Four of Wands and the Lovers card. We did see the Two of Cups already too, so that's soulmate energy. Yeah, they want to express to you that some of them actually could know or think that you're their twin flame. Definitely soulmate energy. Something happened where they they figured out the truth about you. And it's hard for them to turn away from that. Yeah, Knight of Cups. They want to express their love for you. They can't pass you up is what I'm hearing. Ace of Wands. So all four aces. Yeah, Temperance. Three of Pentacles. The Magician, Justice, and the Three of Swords came out. So that third party energy I was picking up on, we have the Page of Cups. This could have been a karmic situation that kept your your person in a low vibrational energy and immaturity. Because um, we have the Devil and the Ten of Swords with the Ace of Wands. So this could have been like sexual vices or anything that isn't of good morale, let's just say. Um, that they're they're wanting to end here because keep in mind we had justice and death came come out with the ten of wands and being sorry and then we have justice here with the three of swords so i feel like there's a situation that is being called to to end and i feel like your person is now waking up to that that it, all the burdens that they have in their life is because they're holding on to this karmic energy. Because the devil is definitely karmic energy. Look, look at what's sliding out. The moon and the, the world card. Yeah, there was a bunch of illusions that, were, that was stopping your person from walking away from things that were not good for them. Justice with the three of swords is definitely like a breakup for me. Um, the magician with the three of pentacles, uh, this person could be working with someone to try to, or collaborating with someone to try to figure out a way to, I just heard escape. Um, but they're gaining the confidence for sure to walk away. Let's clarify this seven of wands, two of pentacles. Five of Pentacles in the Queen of Pentacles again. Yeah, they're wondering if you even want them anymore. And I know some of you in the comments are going to be like, of course I want them. I know. This is just an insecurity that they have. 
because they feel like you're this queen of pentacles, empress, high priestess energy, like you're the shit. <laughs> and they're afraid that they may have taken too long or juggled you going back and forth too many times that you may just say, nah, forget about it. I'm not into this anymore. You could have done a lot of healing. You could be financially independent here with the Queen of Pentacles coming out and the Nine of Pentacles, like looking up some kind of glow up. Definitely secure in your own energy. Three of Cups. This could be third party, but this is also a reconciliation energy, and I do feel like they do want to reconcile with you. They want to celebrate something with you, but they are afraid of this Five of Cups energy. Instead of having fun and celebrating, I just heard with friends, um, they may be left out in the cold. They may be depressed. They want to end this heartache, though. They've done a lot of healing, and they want to show you that they, they pick you. They choose you. That they want to be with you. They want to have a family with you. Whatever that looks like for you guys. You're there happily ever after. You're their wish fulfillment. They could be focusing on themselves. I keep shaking a lot. I don't know if you guys see that in my hand. But they want to express to you that they are really into you. I'm hearing that song, Into You by Paramore. So there might be messages in there for you guys. Well, yeah, they want to come forth. They want to come forward. They want to rush towards you. They want to express that they want to marry you, that they love you, that they want to take this to a higher level of commitment. They're following their intuition now. They're following their destined path. And look at this, Two of Cups, soulmate love energy. They got to just end this karmic right here. They got to end this situation with being immature and not wanting to express emotions, hiding, causing their own anxieties. Let's see what's going on. God, Michael, Spirit. What's going on with the collective? Anything the collective needs to know at this time. This could be either from you or your person. So acceptance. Everything happens for a reason, guys. Whether or not things work out or not. But I am getting that this person wants to make things work out. I told you I was hearing friends. Friendship. This friend friendship is leading to more. Abundance, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So accept that you are worthy to have all of this, guys. That you deserve this love. And it, it starts with self-love. We have second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. We have free will, guys. And this person knows that. And that's why they're afraid of this rejection. But the divine is saying that this person has been doing work. And honestly, I feel like this person is going to prove to you that they have been doing the work. Let's get some messages cards from your person. This could either be from Divine Masculine or from Divine Feminine. Because, see, this deck. Because I read for both, guys. God, Michael, Spirit. Messages from the Collective's person that is watching. Messages from the Collective's person. So into you I should be over all the butterflies I'm into you I feel the sexual tension definitely with this ecstasy card and just what I was picking up on I just didn't want to dive too much into that I feel so happy with you and it could be because you have this bond of friendship I just heard best friend um unexpected best friend that's like the best, right? Like when you meet someone and you just vibe automatically like right away and you're like, damn, you're the shit. <laughs> I can't reach out. So maybe there's something stopping them and it could be this karmic right now. So maybe they're working on ending things. So just be patient. Focus on yourself. Just just think, guys, um, whatever you want to do or you normally get like overwhelmed if you're in a relationship or there's just so much going on just do that stuff right now while you still have the time because soon you're going to be so consumed with all this love and passion that you're not going to have any time so make the time now we don't share the same values mm. i don't know if i'm feeling that energy might clarify hold on i miss hearing your voice 
Let me see what that's all about. This could be past energy. God, Michael, spirit. What is the values that this person feels they don't share? What is this all about? Ooh, 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 ooh. Four swords fell on the ground. It's kind of like upside down. Looking for spiritual strength. Awakening, rejoining the world. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. With the star. Yeah, okay, so this is old energy, guys. Because, again, we're getting those pages, right? And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is offering something solid. But with the with the star in the Page of Pentacles, I feel like your person is healing this. They're wanting to move on from being pages. You could also be from different walks of life as well. I'm hearing that this uh, person may be afraid that their family or friends won't accept you. And like straight up just hearing and that sucks because I adore you. But they're like afraid for you. That you won't get it. You won't get a chance. So I, I feel like this is something that's still needing to be worked on. Keep in mind guys. A lot of the times I mean. We, if we're truly happy in relationship, our family and friends will see it all over us. Our energy, our vibe, our face. And in turn, you know, the people that truly love us will see that. And they'll be happy. You know, even if it takes time, guys, to get to that point. 13 can be significant. 17 can be significant. Um... I'm also getting 1111. Let's get some. No, actually, let me do some romance angel oracle. God, Michael, spirit messages for the collective at this time. Anything you need to know. Pay attention to the red flag. Signs are cautioning you. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. I keep getting this energy in a lot of the readings. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. And this is probably why it's not easy. Because anything that's worth it is never going to be handed to you. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Which we did pick up on that as well. Bottom of the deck is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we have deception, finances, and career, and free yourself. So I feel like this might be a masculine that has some kind of black mentality or deception on whether or not finances are going to be capable to um, enhance in this relationship. So maybe this pay attention to the red flags is on their end. Don't allow outside people or sources to kind of cloud that. Even yourself. Don't let yourself get clouded and lost in that that negative mentality. Because we have abundance here as well. God, Michael, Spirit, what's the advice for the collective? Yeah, so I feel like with that song, Paramore, Into You, I keep hearing that, that part. I should be over all the butterflies. I'm into you. So I feel like this is a divine masculine that's used to like hit it and quit it and... Like, getting over people really quickly. Um, I'm hearing you broke the mold with that. Like, you put a stop. Uh, they weren't expecting to still feel for you or desire you or think about you. We have firstly love yourself, which is definitely something we always pick, on, uh, pick up on. Um, your existence is a beautiful blessing. Know how to deeply in love with your own self. 
You have a place to belong, people to vibe with, and will finally blossom to your best version. Don't hold a grudge. It's not worth wasting your time and energy holding it against somebody for too long. Things just come and go. Lesson learned from what we have in the end of the day is mutual love and empathy. And remember, we got the card second chance. Guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content or you just want to show some love. We have Anticipate. There should be a few challenges or obstacles awaiting for you on the way to success. By anticipating these ones, you will absolutely soften the problems and get more decisive solutions. So, there you have it, guys. Oh, where am I putting this? I'll go here. Alright, I love you guys. Peace.